We're gonna take a ride in a 2021 Mini Cooper hardtop. Not an S, not a Countryman, not a Clubman, nothing. A base model with a little bit more to it. And I'll explain that in a moment, but this is the car, come on. Ain't it cute? And I wanted to prove to you guys that a vehicle like this is a much better buy if you're trying to get something that makes you smile every single day. I love this car. Come on in, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. Big chunky monkey like me fits nicely. One of the things I love about minis is the fact that it's basically a box and there is tons of space, at least for the driver and front passenger. <laughs> we'll talk about the rear passenger a little bit later. Now, this model gives you from the base, which is 22,400, check out the starter button right here. Boom! <laughs> Good tiny three cylinder gets into action. This vehicle has mostly basic components, except it has things like this panoramic sunroof, has nicer wheels, LED lights. Gone is the big speedometer right here, which I'm actually really happy about because I just don't like passengers telling me that I'm speeding. It's all right here. Very easy to read once you get used to it. And I'm gonna be saying that a lot, once you get used to it. Because minis are unlike any other vehicle on the road. They're completely unique. This is a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Basically functions just like an automatic transmission. Works really good when you're pushing it. Can be a little tiny bit jerky in traffic and it might delay. Let me show you. I'm gonna stop at this stop sign here. Okay, let it settle. Then I'm gonna accelerate. My foot's all the way down, there's the pause, then it kicks in. That is turbo lag and also the transmission kicking down saying, okay, you want it first or second gear, whatever. Once you get moving though, it works great. It does not come standard with paddle shifters, which a lot of DSGs and whatnot do have. So you have to use this, which is easy enough. Move it over, you can downshift and upshift. There is a problem, not a touch screen. I really, really wish they would just put a touch screen here like everybody else, but nope. All the controls are down here. Immediate controls, your menu, your communication system, and this rotating dial, which also clicks side to side and whatnot. This is basically your entire interface, and some people like it, some people like me do not. But here's this little mini's Absolute strong point. It's fun. Fun, 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 fun. Around the corner is fun, 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 fun. It's like a rabbit that's had Red Bull. If you're looking at an economy hatchback, there are a lot of choices out there. Now granted, they all have four doors. This is a two door, but there is a four door version of this car. Basically, it's 10 inches longer, gives you a lot more passenger space, a lot more cargo space. I'll show you that when we park. This car, gives you a lot less of that, but it equates the fun. It is so much more engaging. And that's what I wanted to impart to you guys. That's why we're doing a majority of this review from the inside of the vehicle. But I am gonna take you around the outside to show you the engine. I wanna show you the boot the trunk. I said boot because British, yeah, I know. Oh, speaking of British, yeah, for those of you who don't know, this really isn't that British. It's a little bit British. This vehicle does have its roots in certain areas. I'm pretty happy about the fact that not only is it built in Great Britain, but it has a lot of neat little British things, but it's not too obnoxious. They actually toned down the interior. This used to look a lot more like something right out of Disney. My wife actually has this round thing with two vents here that are round and it looks like a hidden Mickey, but it's much more subdued and yet still fun. And I think that that's important. But let's park it and I want to take you around the outside. I think it's adorable. And I wanted to show you what that little $4,000 package gets you. But also, I want to tempt you about this car because it is worthwhile. I really think it's worthwhile as an option compared to those other economy cars. Because this is going to make you smile even in base form. I mean, really smile. They're so much fun. Come on, I'll meet you on the outside. Now, you can't tell, but that is a slick little powertrain. 134 horsepower, 162 pound-feet of torque. It's a twin power, three-cylinder engine, three little tiny cylinders, 1.5 liter, actually relatively good size. The point is, is that this vehicle has really good torque. Also, combined MPG, 31. 
Now, it's a little bit less than some of the competitors, and I am putting competitors out there like the Nissan Kicks that I was talking about. Those vehicles are more efficient, and they have a little bit more cargo space and utility, but this isn't too bad. But the most important part is, this will drive circles around them. It is so much fun to drive. It has a seven speed dual clutch as equipped. That's with this package, but you can get it base model with a six speed manual transmission. In fact, Mini is one of the few car companies out there that'll put a six speed manual transmission in almost everything they offer. Now there's only 8.7 cubic feet of cargo space behind the back seat, but it drops down and actually there's enough room for a very large suitcase or a couple small suitcases right back here. Now, if you drop back seat, both sides, 31 cubic feet of cargo space. That's not too bad. But what about those back seats? Let's say you have passengers. Let's say they're girthy, like me. All right, see this lever here? Pull this, jump. Get a little bit of extra space. Wish me luck. It's doable. <laughs> so, whoever the front passenger is will have to be really short. I have the sticker, the actual window sticker, so sticky sticker. So, this is a 2021 Mini Cooper hardtop two door, and its base price is $22,400. And then it has what's called the signature trim $4,000. That gives you the 16 inch what they call victory spoke black wheels, seven speed dual clutch transmission, comfort access keyless entry, panoramic sunroof, which I highly recommend on its own, heated front seats, probably pretty good here in Colorado, mini excitement package. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and then it has automatic climate control, LED front headlights, LED fog lights, and all season tires. Now, if you decide not to get this package, there are other ones out there, and there are other things that you can do to keep the car well under $27,000, which is where this one is. In fact, this MSRP, now this is with destination, $27,250. A couple things I want you guys to know. Now, first of all, if you go online to Mini USA, you can deck out your car and make it look really cool the way you want it to look. But beware, because the one thing you'll be tempted to do is add to it, and all of a sudden you're going to have a $30,000 car that should be a $25,000 car. So careful of that temptation if you're looking for what I consider to be a very fun little runabout that just has tons of personality. I hope in the future Mini keeps this recipe going. I think they might. For the Fastline Car, this is Nathan. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.